Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is a Monday. This is the second time we're going to shoot this video because I left one out. So here we go. If you are new to YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. You will always be notified when we do videos. Um, videos usually go on sometime between Monday and Saturdays. Um, this litter is from Zelda and this litter is two weeks and four days old. So they are all boys but two, and the two Merles in the middle are both females. So they are doing great. They don't miss a meal. Zelda has been a wonderful mom, except she likes to lay on them once in a while. So we've had trouble with her laying on puppies, and I'll be glad when they're up and walking, and I don't have to worry about that so much. Um, I will probably put new pictures of these guys on, sometimes toward, didn't mean to touch you, sorry sometime towards the end of next week. Um, also, just as a heads up, there probably won't be a video on these guys again until next, probably uh, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. We've got a ton of stuff to do the first part of the week that we probably will not be able to shoot videos. So um, please be patient with us, but we'll have them on sometime before the end of next week. So let's get started again. All right, we're gonna start with the one I missed. So they're all, like I said, they're all boys. We have two chocolates, another dark chocolate, and a curly black, and those are the boys. The chocolate Merle and the blue Merle are the girls. So we're gonna start with the one that I missed. Huh, say we missed you, and I'm so sorry. There's too many that look alike. This is Microchip 8865. This is a male. It's got a brown nose. He could have blue eyes, are you having a dream? You're dreaming. Yep. And because dad has double blue eyes and carries the gene for double blue eyes, this puppy or any of these puppies in here could have the possibility of double blue eyes. They are too little to tell right now. Until they hit about four weeks to four and a half, maybe five. We'll know by five for sure. But as of right now, there I can't tell you if they're going to be blue or not. So this is a male, and he is a curly boy. You're the one that I think does have blue eyes. I don't know, I'm not gonna say, cause I can't tell this young. I've seen him change, even though we think they're blue. A lot of times the light will reflect off the pupil and it makes it look blue. This is one curly little man. He's got a really curly face. He, Vanessa say he almost looked like a poodle. He and the black one have lots of waves. These waves mean there's lots of curls coming. Or nope, 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 don't jump. Um, he has, let me turn that on. He has no white on his chest. Hi, pumpkin. I see your face. He has a little tiny bit of white on his goatee right there. He has, oh, I know I touched your face. I'm sorry. He has a little tiny bit of white up. No, he doesn't. No white. No white. Just a really pretty baby. Really pretty baby. Let's see what you weigh. Two pounds, 2.6. These are big, chunky, chunky babies. They are fat. All right, now we're going right on around the corner. I'm gonna keep these two on this side of the Merle. This is another chocolate. This one is microchip number 8861. Big, fat baby. Oh my golly, they're fat. You're really fat, aren't you? Let me see your face. No, he says, I don't want you to. Don't look at it. Okay, fine. Got, I've got his hair stuffed up on his head. It looks like he's got a Don Eagle haircut. Smash that back down. I could spit on it like my grandmother used to do. Um, no white. No white on the chin. No white on the belly. No white on the feet. You're just a chocolate. You're a big chocolate chip, aren't you? Huh? Are you a chocolate chip? He says, I'm not talking to you. All right. This one is two pounds 7.5. All right. Down we go, down we go, down we go. Snuggle in, snuggle in. Are you there? No, you can't come my way. This is the last time we're going to do these guys on the table. No more table. They're going outside or on the floor. It depends on the weather. It's supposed to get really, really cold here by Saturday. We're supposed to be in the 70s today. And we're going to end up turning the furnace on this week. This one is another chocolate. You have a white goatee, just a tiny white goatee. Let me get a microchip number. 
Charlie must be here. I hear Zelda barking. 8860 is the microchip number. No white back feet. And I don't think you have any white on your chest. Can I turn you over? Uh, yeah, you do. This one has a white spot right here. Yep, you're okay. Let me see what you weigh. Two pounds, 14 ounces. These guys are going to get a bath today. They're going to get their toenails trimmed. We trim toenails every week because as their eyes are starting to open and they crawl over top of each other, a lot of times they'll scratch someone's eye with their toenails and then they get an ulcer on their eye and then we have to treat that. So we absolutely are toenail crazy around here. This is a black. This is a really curly. Look at the curls on this coat. Really pretty guy. Really pretty guy. This one is 8863. And I don't think, well, I'll show you the back end first. So on a phantom, we can usually tell, and there's no color under this guy. Okay, okay, okay. Turn you around. So I don't think he's going to change anything. I don't see any change coming yet. You're okay. I know. I'm spinning you. I touched your mouth, made you yawn, didn't I? Make you yawn again. <laughs> Puppies always do that. You touch the mouth and they yawn. All right. Two pounds, six ounces altogether. All right. You're laying quieter this time than I did the first time. We're going to sneak in here and pull this little girl out. She says, I'm sleeping. This little girl has lots of gingerbread. And by gingerbread, I mean white on the back feet, white on the front feet. White strip down the face, just like all the gingerbread trim. She says, I'm sleeping. I don't even want to open my eyes. No. She's got a little bit of white on the back of her neck. Did you open your eyes? Open your eyes. Can I wake you up just enough? Let me rub you backwards. Now your eyes are open. She says, oh, didn't like that. Lots of color. And she is, yeah, you can't get back in the pack yet. 88.62 is her number, and she is one pound, 9.4. She will be the smallest in this litter. I can tell you that right now. I'm going to squeeze her right back in here where she was. There, bury your face. There you go. And in there. She is just digging those feet in to get back in that hole. Okay. Now, let's see if Miss Congeniality over here won't scream. We'll try and do this so she won't scream. She gets a little bit noisy, don't you? You got one eye, you got the hiccup. Oh, she's got the hiccups. You got the hiccups. All right, wake up. Maybe the hiccups will go away. She's got one dark black brown leg and one merle leg. I'm praying that she has double merle eyes, but it's too little to tell. She's so fancy. Uh, her nose is gonna turn chocolate. She's got lots of chocolate. I'm trying to keep him from turning around and coming off the table. Lots of dark chocolate on her head and neck. You have a really dirty coat. Somebody pooped on you, I think, somewhere. I can tell. No, don't lick my arm, because then you're going to want to come see me. Turn this way. Yeah, go back. Let's go over here. How about if I put you right there? Can you just shove you in? There. Now, if I hold you there, they'll bury you in. Oh, they're going to bulldoze you out. So this side has an all-chocolate leg. Just a really, really pretty baby. And if she ends up with double blue eyes, oh, she'll have all the fancy stuff. And she is two pounds, 1.0 ounce. Oh, I, oh, there we go. Oh, I know. She's my noisy one. 8864 is her microchip number. They're all going to bulldoze in. That's her favorite position. They're all... All their faces, except for this one, are smashed in somewhere. They're all doing great. Um, I'm going to put some new pictures on of them next week and probably towards the end of the week. But the girls are going to give them a bath today. They're going to do their toenails. Um, the bath wakes them up. It, changed their, it changes their brain. It stimulates every instinct in them. When we get them in the warm water, we suds them all up. We scrub them with our hands. It stimulates the brain in lots of ways that it just 
wakes them up every time they have a bath and they need woke up. So these guys are going to be, usually we dump out at three weeks old onto the floor out of their whelp box. They are not ready to dump out on the whelp box. Um, this is not where I want it. I gotta go, the middle is off, got it. So um, other than that, they're doing great. They're gonna get their bath today. They're gonna get their toenails cut. Um, Mom's doing great with them, except she still tries to lay on them. I think she's still going to continue that until probably they get to the point they're up and walking enough that she can't do it. She just lays right flat down on top of them. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. Uh, there's not a lot going on. I like to do this each week so that you can watch the changes and the way they morph from hot out of the oven, completely dependent on mom and us to keep an eye on them to each week how they change to where they get to where by five weeks old they're like running around like crazy people it's crazy how they develop so quickly and how they change so quickly and I think it's fun for you to see because normally you don't get to see that you just get to see puppies when you go somewhere to purchase a puppy you see them already ready to go home you don't get to watch through all these changes well I think it's fun for you to be able to do that so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please call me if you have any questions. Please do not fill the puppy purchase contract out if you want one. You have to get on the waiting list first. Um, and if there's nobody on a waiting list or um, we have a couple left and I've gone through the waiting list, then I put available on top of each photo of the puppies that are available. But right now, these are still in the process of being chosen. So if you'd like to get on the waiting list, all I need is a text with your name, address, put your cell phone number on your text. Please put the mother's name on the text that you're looking for, and I will put you on that list. Um, otherwise, if you have questions about a certain puppy, please don't just text me the chip number because my brain cannot remember all the chip numbers that we have. So it's much easier if you tell me the mother's name I know I got a text this week and they said, hey, we're interested in a certain microchip number. I have to go through and look all the chip numbers up to find out whose chip that belongs to. So please text me the mother's name and the chip number you're interested in if you have questions about a certain puppy. Um, or if you have any questions at all, uh, just give me a call or shoot me a text and I'll be glad to answer you. So uh, please don't email me this week. I'm not gonna be on the computer. Um, we've got way too much to do and um, so the best way to reach me is text or phone call. So have a great week. I hope you enjoyed their video. Have a safe one. And I hope you enjoy this nice weather because next Saturday it gets freaking cold again. And the furnaces have got to go on. We actually slept with our bedroom windows open in November, which blew my brain. So have a good one. And we'll see you next week uh, for another video.